Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So today we are working on a Collins 30L1. I have a couple of these here. So I was waiting on a replacement input rotary switch. This one is damaged. Let me find that contact. One of the contacts is completely bent out. It's the 40 meter one. It's hard to see, but I'll show it when it's out too. So that contact, where is it? Right there. See how it's like bent outwards? So I have to remove all of this right here. All the filament connections. I'm, I'll be replacing the grid loading resistors anyway. So those will come out. Um, it's going to be fun. This is going to be an exciting repair. <laughs> so it's also getting the Harbach filter cap board kit. And I'll go through the, the rest of it. Also a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. They have not arrived yet. But, okay, so I'm going to get to work. And I will see you guys in a bit. This will take a while. So... Stay tuned, actually. Be really quick for you guys, but a long time for me. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I got the filament choke disconnected over here and pulled the leads off the sockets for one side of the filament. I want to point something out for the grid loading resistors. They really bent up that clip, so I, uh, I fixed it a bit, but uh, when I get this off, I'll you know, fix it all the way. So, um, you don't ever want an, an open between the grid uh, pin on the tube and the clips at the socket. They're all spread a bunch. So, I'll compress them all, clean them all. I also changed the mic cap. So, uh, I want to point some out here. So, you want to keep the grid loading resistor leads as short as possible. Look at this. They all should meet at this junction right here. Uh, See how he has a jumper? He put a jumper lead to the unused terminal over here. That's adding lead length to two of the resistors. That's a big no-no. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to unsolder these, pull this terminal strip out, and <laughs> oh man, this is going to be fun. Okay, so let me just uh, take pictures so I know exactly where everything reconnects. And uh, I'll be back. See you soon. Just out. I'll show you that bad contact right there. New one is in, but not wired all the way. So the right set of contacts over here go to the front of the coils, and then the left side go to the rear connection of the coils. I'm doing one by one, removing what these are all loose. So. I'm going to clean off all this carbon stuff here. Uh, when, at some point when they had a grid loading resistor blow apart, it left all that residue. And it's getting new grid loading resistors in my cap saddle. So I'm going to get back to work. See okay, so I'm back with the completed Collins 30L1. The new switch, the input rotary switch, is wired. Replace the 0.01 cap between the socket and the switch. New 220 PF silver dip mica caps, new carbon comp resistors for the grid loading resistors. Put, a, put gas discharge tubes in, one per side of the filament to ground. Everything soldered really well. Clean the contacts on the relay over here. Got the Harbach filter cap board installed. Need parasitic suppressors, clean the rotary switch with deoxic gold band switch and also the input one that I installed. So I also add a new series glitch resistor over here. So wires are zip tied nice, everything is done real nice nice. It's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, awesome company, great customer service. So. That's about it. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. 
Phone number is 203-892-4119. Also, you meet her lamp bulb. And my website is ampreparaguy.com. So please like, share, and subscribe. I have another 30L1 here. I have to put the supply in also, the Harbach filter cap board for the plate supply. And uh, lots of other amps here to work on. So stay tuned. A lot more content to come. 73.